come to another thrifting. I'm just in cash, cash it in. I'm reevaluating some of these um, really scratched um, 360 games. They puts on the um, labels now marked, marked as condition, con marked up to condition. So it's giving you the heads up they're a bit scratched. So I was just going through them all. Um, some of them do look pretty bad, but um, just about getting past my. Um, my my um standard for um resurfaceable games these lot. Um I did look at um Lego Avengers and Lego um Marvel Superheroes but they looked pretty far gone. Um but the others I was uh, just just passable on the whole. You know, when they're not that deep you think, yeah, I could probably get these resurfaced and be alright. I was looking at Arkham collection but um two of the games occurred on three sixty. So you'd only get the first one and the other two are cards and the problem being does look like they've used the cards <laughs> they're a bit ruckused up so i was like yeah fair enough <laughs> i was just checking which one was in there but yeah barring um the two lego games because they they're like eight quid and six quid i was like i could probably get a few of these and see see if i can get them resurfaced i mean i'm always in cx anyway so it'll be all right but yeah i was just having a look um I think they'll be alright. So, um, Harry Potter, Order of the Phoenix, 8 quid game, no brainer. Um, 6 quid game, Mortal Kombat vs DC, so that's alright for 2 as well. Um, and another 8 quid game, um, Need for Speed Carbon, for 2 99 And um, um, yeah, the Dreamcast collection, which I've, I've always wanted, but I always pass it up because... Um, I've got my, I've got them all on my hard drive, but I kind of want the box. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get these resurfaced. And um, for the price is asking, it was fair cop. So I was like, yeah, go on, man. <laughs> but yeah, they're all worth having. It's just, I mean, it'd be even better if they were in better condition. But they're the ones that I think I can just about get away with resurfacing. Uh, we've got a motherload of PS1 games in here. I was, I was like, oof. Oof, <laughs> ten quid a piece on Crash One and Two, but I was like, you know what? That's not a bad price, is it really? And I, can't, I wanted them anyway, so I was like, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna pop on all of these. <laughs> I was just having a look, but yeah, um, they're um, they're all a pound, and the boxes were pretty um, spanking. They were pretty um, minty fresh. So I thought, you know what? For a quid, I might just clear this place, <laughs> clear them all out with these. And there might be a few that are duplicates. I know Colin McRae I got again the other day, so I was like, but um, the the one that was in here had the um had the poster and everything in it. And I was like, for a quid, for a spare box. I mean, usually when you buy games for spare boxes, they're absolute trash. I mean, I learned there was a lot of sports titles in here, but some some of them off the beaten track and that as well. So I was like. Yeah, fair enough. And I, um, I thought I'd have a skeg at um, what else you had um, in the um, rest of them. And the PS1, PS2 games weren't that great. There was a couple of big box PC games. There was like real, real tycoon and that. Didn't get a real good look at them, but I wasn't going to bother. Um, but yeah, we reserve. I'll pick up for a pound. That's all good. Well, I was just, I was just happy to see some games. This one. Usually, this is the one I come in for the vinyl, but they had a lot of games in. Um, so yeah, it was um, True Pinball, which I, I want to upgrade for that because the one I've got is rapey. Actual Golf 2, Pool Shark, um, Virtual Pool, which I will not stop buying. <laughs> That's like my third copy now. Um, Formula 197, Tommy McEnum Rally, um, Jimmy White's Q-Ball 2, Actual Golf 3, um, PGA to Golf 98, uh, Carl and McRae, um, rally cross, which is a bit spicy that one. It's not one you see that often. And then V rally, which you see all the time. But fair enough. And yeah, um, ten quid on these. The, all the rest were a pound, but um, Crash Bandicoot one and two were a tenner each. But I was, yeah, fair enough. It's, che it's actually cheaper than CEX. I think they're more like fifteen on them. Um, I haven't checked it, but I'm sure they're more expensive. They might be the same, but yeah, they're in they're in good condition and that. So I was like, yeah, bro. <laughs> Uh, just you just get starved for PS One games, don't you? So when you see a whole bunch of them, get excited, don't you? But and then the woman said some of them have got memory cards in, so I went back, and they have, yeah, um, six of them had memory cards in, and I'm, like the games not really worth that much, 
Um, but memory cards are like three quid a piece in CX, and they give you a trade of one pound twenty. So I was like, effectively, if I'm going to get the credit for the memory cards, I'm getting these games for like nothing. <laughs> so that's what convinced me to pop on all six of them for a pound. It's like I'm I could do with some PS2 memory cards, but the ones that I don't need, I can trade in because um, the ones I've got, a lot of them are unofficial. So six PS2 memory cards. <laughs> it's mental <laughs> and then I'll just keep the games I was looking for the vinyl in um, Big Cancer Research and this popped out for a quid it was um, Janet Jackson Rhythm Nation 1813 um, by all accounts a banging album <laughs> and um, yeah I was like yeah this is an absolute no brainer for a pound but yeah it's um, I can't remember who produced it but like you hear people rave about this album saying it's like one of the best produced albums ever and i was like yeah i am in a position to pass this up for a quid am i <laughs> so yeah i'll um i'll pop on this one i checked the um there was a little, little bit of um damage on the corners and that but um the minimal ring damage but um the, the vinyl was um, minty fresh i had a check of that and it looked fine uh, i didn't get much good footage of these but i did pop on this woman got more out it was um Fleetwood Mac Big Love, which she charged me two pound fifty for, twelve inch um, extended version, um, extended um, um, single, and then I saw Kenny Rogers um, singles as well, and she only charged me one pound fifty for that one. I had the gambler on it, so I was like, yeah, fair enough. But you know, when they like they bring more stuff out for you to look at, you kind of feel a bit more compelled to buy some. Don't you? you didn't want to put them through all the trouble of gonna go get some, so I decided to buy them. Um, I was having a look in the window of CX and they've got um, Ninja Gaiden on them, um, Atari Lynx. Now that is um, pretty spicy, that man. But um, that's not what I'd come for. I just noticed it and I was like, ooh, Ninja Gaiden on Atari Lynx. I mean, it does tend to catch your eye. What I'd come for was um, Driver 2 for three quid. But um, yeah, um, it's been annoying me for ages. Um, the copy of Driver I had uh, missing a disc. So I thought I'll rectify because I had a bit of credit. Um, and then we're in the um, the other CEX because there's two in, in town. And I'm coming for um, Lost Judgment. I got the first Judgment on PS5. And I was I was like, I was I keep looking for this one on PS5 as well. But um, what I didn't realise is it's got free upgrade. So the, um, the PS4 version is a PS5 version effectively. So you can just upgrade it. So I was like, yeah, I've got my credit spare. So 20 quid's worth of credit going on that one. Pretty sweet. So there we go. That's everything I got this time thrifting. If you like this video, be sure to thumbs it up and subscribe to the channel. You can sometimes catch me live at twitch.tv forward slash thriftbites. You can see what I'm up to on twitter.com at twitter.com forward slash thriftbites. You can see these all re-uploaded on odyssey at odyssey.com forward slash at thriftbites. You can read the old blog at thriftbites.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.